So there's this saying that goes, you are only as strong as your mindset. In short, what that means is that what differentiates the successful to the unsuccessful or the weak versus the strong is their mindset. It's the power it's the power of their mindset. It's crazy, right? It's not physical strength, it's not muscles. It's nothing about that. It's all about the the power of their mindset, the power of their vision. Let me give you an example. So, have you ever saw a couple maybe in public and you're like, "Whoa, that dude or that chick is way out of their league." <laughs> you ever you ever say that? Like, "Man, how did he or she do that?" Bro, you just want to high five them, but then that'd be kind of rude, right? But you know, these are these are certain different things, right? Or you may see a successful entrepreneur who you're just like, man, how did you do that? It's because our perception, we, you know, we're all guilty of judging. I do it, you know, I think to tell you true, I do it all the time. I think we all do it, but it's just a matter of having self-awareness. And so I believe that mindset is really truly the unlock in order for, for us to get what it is we want. Mindset is our key to getting to the next step um, with certainty, right? I, I wanted to say faster or or uh, you know with more speed, but in all reality, it's going to take more than mindset in order for you to find a shortcut to the top. Um, I believe that you know that, and when I say shortcut to the top, I don't mean by you know stepping over people or you know doing wrong upon other people in order to fly there. What I'm talking about is a shortcut by way of faster than than our elders because we are leveraging the technology and the and the communication methods that we have in our environment in our day and age that our elders did not have and when we compare the length of time that it took for them to reach the top versus the length of time it could now take for us to reach the top that's what i'm talking about and so i want to make sure that you're not doing things old school and so in this video i'm going to share with you three powerful mindset hacks in order for you to develop the right mindset so that people will actually be like, wow, how did he or how did she do that? And what they're going to be talking about is you. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I am your host. And in this episode, I'm going to share with you three powerful mindset hacks. Mindset? Mindset hacks. (laughs) You know, I, I, I... I make errors, you know, sometimes here and there in my videos, as you may have seen. And I appreciate you because you put up with them. So I appreciate your patience. But you're going to notice one thing is that, you know, I don't actually edit it out. (laughs) Right? Like, I hope that you accept me for my flaws because I accept my flaws. And I think that actually has to do with one of the three powerful mindset techniques or mindset hacks that I'm going to share with you in this video. And, uh, and, and, I, and I want you to understand through empathy, right? And understanding that we all are just like each other. We all make mistakes. And there are a lot of people who will go ahead and go to the extreme as to edit it out. Have a nice fancy green screen in the back to make it look like I'm in a corporate office. <laughs> but why is this dude, you know, um, filming in, in his car, right? Like he's always in his car. He's always on the way home from the gym. And I want to let you know it's because I have certain habits that I've adopted along my journey, along my way. And one of those habits is a morning routine. And part of my morning routine is is sparking my creativity because I believe that that not only should you work out your body, your physical form, but you should work out your mentality as well. And I think that if we don't take a step back to actually relax all of all of our muscles, not just our brain, not just our body, but our hustle right everything from from being too focused on the future to being too focused on the past and i think that we all need to take some real time to take a breath and actually just focus on right now and what better way to focus on right now than to identify the times and share with you those who follow me at sales remastered whatever channel it is and if you like to visit my other channels to see more content i'll be sure to leave a link below but in this in this video i want to share three important mindset hacks with you and the very first one is uh, is is very powerful Powerful. And it's ultimately just understanding the difference of, of want versus need. And I'm not talking about from your prospects. I'm talking about from us internally. Like when I say understand the difference between want and need is we need to understand the difference between what we want versus what we need because we have a choice. We have a decision to make what we want 
basically what we desire to something that we need. You know, I shared a method of, of, of committing a goal and, and basically that, that, that method was ultimately revising and rescripting your wordplay, your choice of words, and just see the difference that it makes. So next time you're out for a goal or you set out for a goal, I want you to really think about the way you mention that goal. So right now, you could be saying, man, I really want to hit 10K plus next month, or I really want to be in President's Club next month, or I really want to blah, 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 right? Well, all you have to do is rescript the very first couple words and say, I need to do this. I need to make 10K plus per month. I need to do that. And what that does is it creates this rippled energy where it's it's anchored in your mind as something that you need. And this is kind of like hacking our our kind of our caveman brain, right? Our caveman our caveman brain is designed and hardwired to protect ourselves. Ever since we were cave I say cavemen because you know back then we used to have to fight off T Rexes and shit. <laughs> when we used to have to, you know, straight survive, like our, our primitive brain is is designed to help us, is designed to, to keep us safe, right? And so when we have this perception that it's something that we need to do, then we actually will be more likely to achieve it. Let me give you an example. So you'll notice that some people will not, let's use the gym, because it's fitting and I'm just coming from the gym. There's a lot of people who will not take the time to go to the gym until they need to, although they'll want to, Right, so there's a lot of people. Maybe even you. May, I know I am, right? And there's a lot of people that that probably we are surrounded by, who always constantly say, "Man, I want to lose weight," or "I want to start going to the gym," but they never do, right? Or they'll go one day and then they'll just stop. But then, in some cases, and I hope none of this happens to you, but there are some cases where health requires them to do so, or they will not live. And so then they're put in this position where they need to go to the gym. They absolutely need to go or it, or does that make sense or, or, or the worst will happen. And so there's a difference between want and need. And I think that not only using that, that wordplay or that verbiage will help you increase your likelihood to get it, but it's gonna start developing the right mindset. Because there are things that we want, but until we need it, we're not really going to give it the attention, the hustle, the, the energy that that it deserve, it deserves, right? Because it's something that we ultimately need. And so if we can identify what we should need rather than want, I think we can change our perception and thus create the momentum that we need in order to get it. That makes sense? So that's hack number one. And then um, one thing to actually really understand that hack is the second mindset hack, which is understanding yourself. This is basically self-awareness. And the reason why this is important for our own mindset is because no one knows if you're bullshitting besides you. <laughs> no one knows if you're fronting besides you, right? No one knows, really knows your fears, your insecurities, your, your vulnerableness other than you, right? Now you might have a diary or something or you might be a best friend or, or your spouse that you probably open up to so they could have an idea but at the end of the day, they don't know it like you do, boo boo. So the second hack and my second, my second technique in creating and developing the right mindset is really being self-aware. And you can be self-aware by checking yourself early in the morning, like getting in a quiet place and really kind of assessing yourself and be honest with yourself because you're not gonna need to report this to anybody, right? Like just be real with yourself. And what I'm, what I'm saying by be real with yourself is really understand the kind of person you are, understand your weaknesses, but at the same time, understand your, your strengths, understand your vulnerabilities, but then understand also your leverages, right? Like what do you bring to the table? But more importantly, I really need you to understand your inner dialogue. It's your mindset now. It's, it's how you instinctively react to certain things. Like do you, like for example, do you, do you over plan and over prepare or do you over analyze to where you're paralyzed? Like do you need to be super prepared in order just to start? Or do you have the mindset of like, you know what, I'ma learn as I go. If I mess up, then hey, I, le I just learned a way of not to do it, right? So you need to figure out where your awareness is. And then when you do have this power of self-awareness, then you can actually identify and adopt 
this one key component. And it's understanding that everything is a decision away. Everything. Your success, your everything is a decision away. Your ability to get back in shape, your ability to become financially free, your ability to land that job, land that date, land that promotion, it's all a decision away. Because what I believe is that a lot of times we will we don't necessarily understand ourselves and this is why we will over plan and over prepare is because we don't see anything different does that make sense sometimes it takes a third party to point things out in order for you to identify where you might be going wrong and so this self-awareness time like blocking off 10 20 minutes and some quiet um, it's almost you know people think of it as like meditation but really what you're doing is just really identifying and, and assessing where you're at mentally where you're at physically and identifying what's stopping you from creating this decision to finally start implementing and moving kind of just turning around the momentum right putting everything back on track and so I think self-awareness is the second technique because self-awareness is really going to help you identify the final technique which is empathy and self-awareness is basically you know knowing you right knowing you and, and what you're gonna realize is that you are just like everyone else and the, the reason why empathy is the third powerful technique in developing the right mindset is because you will be more acceptable and you'll be more attractive if you first demonstrate empathy and what I mean by that is like right now when you communicate with people or when you generate your your business or your revenue you know if you start off with the foot with these three components and you adopt that tool of empathy your marketing will be more effective your sales pitch will be more effective and your your way of living will ultimately be more effective and the reason why it's more effective is just because you're empathetic towards the other person you see there are a lot of people whether salespeople or not or just people in general who are not empathetic does that make sense like people just do rude things like why do you think that's okay like yes yeah, like, <laughs> you ever see people in public like that like oh my god like right like they're just not empathetic um they could just be smoking in a you know what i mean like smoke cigarettes like in a public area where there's kids around and they're just there's no there's no consideration i guess is what i should say but empathy is really understanding the energy of everyone around you is is understanding the energy and the thought process and the feelings and the emotions of the people you engage with because when you adopt self-awareness and empathy you begin having what's called emotional intelligence emotions are what what drives decisions right typically it's logic that actually holds decisions back it's what it's what it's what justifies the reason of you saying no all the time if you get invitations to events and you you're just constantly the person that says no like oh no no that's your logical mind thinking right but if you if you if you take in consideration the times where you say yes and you're like oh my god i would never say yes to that but i did i'm so thankful i did is because it, that was your emotional side just saying it. you know sometimes you just like f it uh, fuck it, I'm gonna do it, right? That's your emotional side speaking and typically you're gonna find that, that that is actually what motivates you. And the reason why, let me give you an example, the reason why people wait until they need to go to the gym or they need to make lifestyle changes um, is because of the emotional uh, intelligence called fear, right? There's, there's this emotional sense called fear that is the second most powerful um, uh, emotion that we have. Our first one is love, right? And whether it's love for ourselves or it's love for our family members, that is ultimately our deepest, strongest desire. That's the strongest fear you'll ever you'll ever have, in my opinion. And why I think that's that's um, uh, the strongest, stronger than fear, is because for my family, for anyone that I love, I will take a bullet for. Like I will run in front of a car. I, you know what I mean? Like I'll be I'll be scared, but not scared enough, boo boo. Like I'm gonna do what I got to do. Does that make sense? I put them in front of me, and so that's why I believe love is stronger than fear. But fear's right up there with love, though. Don't get it twisted. Um, and other emotional senses like uh, status or 
um, you know, besides fear, there's, there's, uh, other things like, like sexual desire. There's all these different type of emotional senses that drive people. And what I'm trying to get at is until you have empathy, you're not going to know how to read the other person's emotions. But if you knew how to read other person, other people's emotions, not only will your communications become better, but the, the results that you're looking for, you'll be able to attract them rather than chase and force them. So I hope that this video really helps you develop the right mindset. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what your takeaway is. And more importantly, let me share this one thing with you. On uh, Saturday, November 17th, if you are located in Irvine, and we may even do a, um, a live stream of the event. I have my first speaking event, and I would love for you to attend. It's going to be located in Irvine, uh, close to um, uh, UC Irvine. So if you're in California, if you happen to be in California, Saturday the 17th, because you're traveling to see family, come say hello to your boy. Come meet me. I'm doing a speaking event at this, uh, this research and technology auditorium. Um, you know, there's a room for, I think like a hundred plus people. And this is my opportunity to, to grow, step out of my comfort zone. And this is my first speaking engagement. So I'm very, very excited. If you want to learn more, feel free to hit me up and send me an email, daniel at salesremaster.com. And you can subject line it, um, you know, speaking event in Irvine or whatever you want, Irvine speaking event. And I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna make sure that you definitely have a seat when you get there. Um, but it will fill up quick. We already have, you know, a ton of, of teams that are already interested in going. And I know it's short notice, but at the same time, if you want to enhance your game, I'm going to talk about sales remastered. I'm going to talk about origination remastered. I'm going to talk about marketing remastered. And what I'm talking about is these, these components that ultimately will create the right foundation and process and engine for you to thrive in 2019 so that you don't got to go into the year with fear. Make sense? All right. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Hey. My team came from the bottom on the rise, yeah. God, please don't get me lost in this ride, yeah. Went to sleep, I had a dream of that fish scale. Fish is so go and put it right on the street at retail.